this perception out there that gaming chairs are automatically going to be less ergonomic and less comfortable than office chairs, and I think it's time for a more updated comparison. Now, I've been using the Secret Lab Titan Evo 2022 for almost six months now and was thinking of buying a Herman Miller and body for this video, but I can already see the you shouldn't be comparing a $500 chair to a $1,500 chair argument, so instead I have an Easy Chairs S8 Plus which at the time of this video has the same sale price of the Titan Evo at $489. We're going to do some general comparisons between office chairs and gaming chairs, as well as a more in-depth look at these specific models to see which one may be right for you. The general consensus is that if you're looking for ergonomics as your main focus, you should automatically get an office chair. They'll typically have things like adjustable lumbar support, seats that can slide to increase depth, headrest support, and thicker, more comfortable seats. Gaming chairs, on the other hand, are known to be more geared towards having fancy aesthetics and often come with more color variations, custom stitching, flashy logos, there are even some that have built-in RGB lighting. If you are going to go the gaming chair route, the first thing I'd suggest is that you skip the cheaper budget options, which are most likely going to be uncomfortable, and just go for the expensive flagship top tier chair. While this video is not sponsored by Secret Lab, I personally would recommend the 2022 Titan Evo, link in the description, and not the 2020 version, which I found to be horrible on my back and glutes. With office chairs, there are far more options out there, and finding the chair that's right for you may not necessarily mean needing the most expensive. Using the Easy Chairs as an example, we can see there is a range of price options to choose from, and since everybody's bodies are different, getting something as inexpensive as this C4 with headrest for $179 could be all you need to find the perfect chair for you. Since we are talking about the S8 Plus, let's take an in-depth look and compare against the Titan Evo. Starting with the seat, the Titan Evo uses cold cure foam, which, while it has been comfortable so far, could potentially lose its softness over time as most chairs do, whereas the S8 Plus has a mesh seat, so you're basically sitting on air. As long as the threading doesn't start to come loose, it should last a pretty long time. Gaming chairs typically have bucket seats which are great for hugging your body and tend to have these side scoops that hug your thighs but can limit your movement, unlike an office chair which is going to give you much more room and freedom to change your seating position and cross your legs. In the case of lumbar support, you're typically going to get pretty in-depth options with office chairs. However, the one strike against the S8 Plus is that the lumbar support is pretty limited. It's got these plastic knobs on the back which are hard to turn and kind of hurt your hands and really don't make that much of a difference, only turning about two rotations. The Titan Evo, on the other hand, has much more adjustability with its two knobs, one which raises and lowers the back support while the other controls how far it protrudes. There have been complaints of the lumbar support being noisy, which I also experienced at first but haven't noticed in quite some time. Armrest functions are pretty similar as both chairs can lower, raise, slide in and out, as well as pivot. The Titan has the advantage here as it can also slide forward and back and has magnetic covers so should you scratch your armrests, you can simply replace them. That said, the armrests of the easy chairs are just fine on their own and you should find this level of customizability with most office chairs. When it comes to neck support, the Titan Evo comes with a magnetic pillow, which has a soft, almost velvet-like feel to it and is extremely plush. Since it's magnetic, that means you can move it around to find that perfect spot. However, there have been plenty of users that complain about the magnets not doing their job and the pillows frequently falling off. With the S8 Plus, you'll get this built-in mesh headrest, which can be raised, lowered, and tilted to find that perfect fit. Not all office chairs come with a headrest, but it's a feature that's becoming more common as time goes on. Most gaming chairs can also fully recline to where you're almost parallel with the ground, but make sure you get a chair with a heavy metal base as cheaper plastic chairs may not have the weight needed to support you. 
Whatever you decide, these are just two examples of how you can't go wrong with either style of chair, and the old looks versus comfort argument to me is no longer valid. Now let me know in the comments below what type of chair you're going to get, and if you decide to purchase a Secret Lab gaming chair, I'd super appreciate you using my link, which greatly helps to support this channel. That's going to do it for today. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and notification bell so you can be alerted next time I upload another video. Until next time, thank you for watching, stay tuned, and have a great day.